Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? It's the Magician of Tarot here, back with another installment. Hope you guys are well, hope you guys are great. Hope you guys are excited for what I'm talking about today. I'm dedicating this whole video for my subscribers. I love you, I love you, I love you. I wanna thank you, I wanna thank you, I wanna thank you. I wanna kiss you, I wanna kiss you, I wanna kiss you. So this is subscribers only, a general reading. I don't know what we're talking about today. I've already pre-shuffled and blessed four pals. Allow me to pick my pals, please. I hope you guys are well, hope you guys are great. I'm ready to get it in. So is spirit. <laughs> First pile is gonna be this cinnamon stick right there. Say, take me to your leader. Second pile is gonna be this Bailey. Say, bitch, move. It's a monster behind me. <laughs> Third pile is gonna be a star anise. A1 day ones. I don't know. And last but not least is gonna be this carbon seed. Say, dun 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 dun. I don't know. That's all I got for you. Please don't kill my vibe. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> that would defeat the purpose. Peace, peace, peace. Love you. Let me zen out really quick. What's up, Cinema Six? Let's talk about you today. What's going on, Great Spirit, Holy Spirit? What's going on with Power Ones? We want to know what they need to know right now. We want to thank them for subscribing, first and foremost. Thank you guys. So what do they need to know, Grace Spirit? No channel messages. High Priestess in reverse. There's a secret. Whenever I have a High Priestess in reverse, there's a secret. But this is also intuition. So let's I tap in with my second card because the High Priestess is the second tarot card of all tarot. So let's see what's going on here. Death card upright. Yikes. Give me a second while I process this energy. I don't want to scare nobody, but it's, it's a lot of darkness out here. I read uprights, reversals, I count my card, and I take notice of the first card and the last card. A lot of you guys need to go to the hospital because as I'm reading uprights and reversals, I'm channeling sickness because that's what my death card is in reverse. And you probably already know that you need to go. I feel like you are experiencing symptoms is what I'm getting with this high priestess. And you're prolonging the process. You should go get medical healing and advice from a professional. Okay, before it's too late with the death card. So it's a lot of darkness out here. And I see things being prolonged and getting worse and worse and worse and darker and darker and darker when it doesn't have to be you can nip it in the bud with a death card yikes what else we got we got the queen of swords out here in reverse i see a medical professional right here i see them writing a prescription out here and giving you advice and what you should do she's known to be a professional the queen of swords and very vigilant okay but I feel like a lot of you guys are embarrassed because that's what I'm picking up on with the Queen of Swords in reverse. You're embarrassed to, you know, go to the doctor and tell them your story and how you got in this situation. So I don't know what exactly you're experiencing or your symptoms, but I see embarrassment out here. And you shouldn't be embarrassed for somebody. Subscribers, what's going on out there? <laughs> What is going out going on out there in y'all world? Excuse my speech impediment. Give me one second. Yeah, y'all have been ignoring something with the high priestess coming out here in the verse and the queen of swords. Like I said before, she's very, known to be very vigilant. Y'all ignoring something, and you can't ignore it anymore. What else you got? Two of swords. This is all about ignoring and being closed off. The two of swords typically has a blindfold on and two swords being crossed. And this card, he's in, you know, lackluster and in La La Land. And I need you guys to really... I'm looking at this wolf and I see things getting worse. Before You have to address things before things get worse. Like, this person doesn't know there's a wolf underneath the table. You don't know it's a problem underneath your skin. Okay? Channel message. And I also have... I count my cards... I have the Ace of Swords out here upright, so that means it's truth, clarity, and intuition out here. What else we got? We got the Ten of Coins. A lot of you guys, this is more embarrassment. Um, this is family vibes, and I feel like somehow you don't want family to know your situation. This is also an expense. 
is what I'm getting with the Ten of Coins. I feel like this is money that you don't have. So you decide I'm not going to go, you know, you're going to ignore it. But you can't ignore it. And Spirit is leading me to tell you if you can't afford it, there's Medicaid. You just have to apply to different, you know, applications and do something about the situation instead of ignoring it. Because it's going to get a lot worse. And if it gets a lot worse, it's going to be more expensive. I'm going to stop there. What else we got? Seven of Wands. This is you being defensive, creating boundaries. So that's what the Seven of Wands is. And I feel like you need to put down the walls, put down the agony of what you think people will judge you as. Because I feel like you're being really defensive. And I saw this Queen of Swords kind of being your energy as well. I see a provider out here as far as medical advice, but I also see your energy. Like you can, you have no shame to go seek help or to go get checked out because that's what they're there for. Excuse my speech impediment. And in this reading with high priestess out here upright. So to have the high priestess in reverse and then to have her upright, you gotta follow your intuition. You know there was an issue. Now you know it is. Now what are you gonna do with this information? Because the high priestess is known to have information. And to be honest with you, you can't sleep on your intuition and expect something to mysteriously go away or magically go away is what I meant to say. But I have a lot of darkness and I have a lot of mystery with the high priest. And so that's probably why I said that. I'm going to get closer on Mark's book. Great spirit. Can I get closer on Mark's for this pile? You guys got to go get checked out and there's nothing to be ashamed of. So I just want you guys to know that. You just got to be outright and open about your situation. And honestly, you could be um, a testimony for a lot of people, depending on how you look at it. It's black and white out here. It's perspective out here. You know, the high priestess comes with black and darkness. Well, dark. <laughs> I said black and darkness. Light and darkness. <laughs> That's my um, dyslexia. Excuse me, please. High priestess in reverse two of swords i feel like you guys are well aware of what i was talking about and now you're going to do something instead of ignoring things because that's what i was talking about in this reading because the two of swords already came out now you're fully aware and you're going to take the blindfold off hallelujah <laughs> let's talk about death card we're going to nip it in the bud instead of you know letting things fester and allow sickness to override Eight of Wands, excuse me, Eight of Pentacles out here in reverse. A lot of you guys don't have insurance, but because you're not working. A lot of you, I see a lack of work out here and you don't have insurance and Medicaid is free. You just have to apply and then go get checked out immediately is what I'm hearing. Immediately. Okay. If you would have been working, you probably would have been able to go get checked out or do something about the situation. But uh, you need to get on the situation pronto is what I'm hearing. Let's talk about this Queen of Swords out here in reverse. The full card in reverse. You feel like somebody's going to judge you of being foolish, but to be honest with you, you have to be carefree and just go out and do it because that's what my full card is, is being careless. So you, you just tell her you were careless. She done met another, she done had a fistful of careless people come visit her, is what I'm saying here. Just tell her your story, you know? You might have a laugh about it. <laughs> You'll be surprised, but you have this stigma that people are going to judge you foolishly and call you a fool. Yeah, you have a testimony. You, you messed up. Talk about this two of swords out here. I see more perspective out here. Twos are all about choices and decisions and perspective, weighing the scales. And I feel like you don't want to come across as this wolf or somebody, a non-do-gooder. I feel like, you know, you're a do-gooder. That's what I'm trying to say. What else you got? Wheel of Fortune out here upright. Hmm. Oftentimes, this is fortune. This is also, I see a map and a calendar. Oh my. Spirit is giving you a time frame, is what I'm seeing here with the Wheel of Fortune. You can get covered with this insurance within two weeks or two days. And you need to do it pronto, like I said. And beyond two weeks or two days, it's going to be a, a problem. Let's talk about the Ten of Coins in reverse. Like, with the Ten of Coins in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune and the information that I've given you, and I've given you a map and a direction, you can override this. You don't have to have the money to get cured. 
That's what I'm getting with the Wheel of Fortune. You can have somebody else pay the expense. You know, Medicaid is free. If you don't, you know, if you're struggling right now, because I feel like you guys are. Let's talk about the Ten of Coins in reverse. Get more insight on that. Four of Swords out here in reverse. That's why you guys haven't been active. Is because you didn't have the money is what I'm getting. Had you had the money, you would have the healing. Because the Four of Swords is healing and peace. But now you can get off your ass. And you don't have to have the money. Because you have a map right here. You know where to get your insurance or coverage from. They're going to give you the antidote and you're going to be done. You won't even have to go revisit. Let's talk about this Seven of Wands out here. This is boundaries. Wow, Seven of Wands and Seven of Wands. This is you not serving yourself. You creating boundaries and walls and being defensive and beating yourself up and just trying to ignore the situation and trying to hide is what I'm trying to say. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's going to mount up is what I'm seeing here with him on top of this world or on top of this mountain let's talk about the high priestess seven of cups out here a lot of you guys are trying to gather this information and um hopefully you do something with the seven of cups because the seven of cups is inactivity so you have options is what i'll say so i want you to get off your laurels and get active What's up, Bailey? Welcome to your reading. Let's talk about you a little bit. This is a general reading, and I just want to thank you guys for subscribing. Subscribers only zone. <laughs> let's talk about you guys. I don't know what we're talking about today, but let's start us off. Great Spirit, what does Pal 2 need to know right now? General reading, no channel messages. Four of Wands out here. This is your home space, typically. This is also Twin Flame vibes. I like having this upright because I read uprights, reversals, I count my cards, and I take notice of the first and second first and last card but spirit wants me to go to the second card mm. allow me to go there okay i feel like somebody fucked up excuse my language somebody wants to fix their a mistake i feel like i have a broken heart out there um whether it be you or someone else they want to mend something is what i'm hearing they don't want to feel this anguish and they want a connection. They want to be reunited and it feels so good is what I'm hearing. Somebody listens to oldies. Reunited and it feels... I feel like there was a spat or a disagreement. It doesn't have to be a spat or a disconnection. That's what I see here. And they want a reconnection. I see this reef going from one point to another. I see a telephone pole. I don't know why I see that. Oh, there's a phone call out here is why I see a telephone pole. There's communication that needs to be had is what I'm hearing about this situation. There's um, a perspective. Somebody's heart was broken, but it's not worth being broken is what I'm hearing. And that's why we have telephone poles because there needs to be communication. What else we got? <laughs> Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Whenever I have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this is my karmic. Somebody that's toxic. Somebody that takes things that don't belong to them. And there's a third party entity within a situation. A twin flame union is what I'm channeled to say. And you know what? Whenever there is a twin flame union, there's always a karmic. And your twin flame is probably learning karmic lessons and what's good for them and what's not good for them. Okay, so we got another person out here. And I feel like this could have been the reason why your heart was broken or their heart was broken because there was a third party situation. Look at the, th the three daggers. You know, here comes the karmic out out of nowhere trying to mess things up. So now you guys saw something that the karmic did or karmic was around 
but your heart your anguish is not warranted is what i'm getting with the three of swords in reverse so you guys gotta have communication and not just watch and speculate is what i'm hearing Ooh. what else you got knight of wands somebody's a whore or you feel like somebody went back to their ex is what i'm trying to say because my knights go on missions and when they're in reverse they come back so you feel like they went back to a whore or they were being a whore and went back to their ex take what resonates but i'm hearing it's a strong no we're going to get more insight because i want to see where this whore is going because my knight of wands is known to be a whore but spirits tell me reiterating that this is a perspective i also have the three of wands out here upright that means the karmic popped up out of nowhere three of wands is all about seizing an opportunity action so i feel like the karmic popped out of nowhere and you were like what the f is she doing here and then what the fuck is this whore doing here specifically what else we got full car this is more what the fuck is this fool doing here or this bitch doing here is what i'm seeing um but i'm i'm getting like a lots of non-planning and i feel like this person had nothing to do with this karmic is what i'm trying to say i feel like it was a surprise to both of y'all is what i'm trying to say with this full car and this is more perspective like typically he's ready to go off the cliff but he has his foot planted you know i feel like you guys were planted in a situation and i feel like he was planted but perspective is out here he's having perspective right now instead of in typical decks is how i'm channeling excuse me guys i'm reading real slow today what else we have the world card in reverse the world card is all about successful completion and i feel like your day got ruined with the world card in reverse but i feel like all is not lost with the world card in reverse because like i said before it's all about successful completion yeah, you had a bad day, but all is not lost. You might have lost the battle, but you didn't win the... But you're going to win the war. Excuse me, guys. My dyslexia is really showing off today. <laughs> Ending this reading with the Four of Cups. You guys were unhappy with what you saw. This is dissatisfied energy. And I read the first card and the last card. You were dissatisfied with somebody you're supposed to be with or somebody you're supposed to live with or somebody you're supposed to celebrate with. That's what the Four of Wands is. Okay, you saw something you did not like, and I see a pout right here. Let's get closing remarks. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit. I can't wait till we get to the karmic. For the karmic to just pop up out of nowhere, it's like, wow. <laughs> I just heard it's a free country. So this karmic likes to do shit like this. Like, it's a free country. I can go anywhere I want to. Even if it's my ex or even if it's somebody else, you know, they just do simple shit like that. Let's talk about this four of wands. This is your twin flame. Two of swords out here. This is a decision. I feel like he was trying to split hairs. He had to deal with two situations at one time. The spirit is telling me right now he had to deal with the old situation while he was fixated on a new situation. I see this wolf out here fixated. Okay, so he, w he was crossing hairs and i see him crossing paths as well he had to decide on what to do he was perplexed let's talk about this three of swords out here in reverse knight of swords in reverse you're being paranoid because that's what my knight of swords is in reverse he's chasing his tail is what i'm getting and calling him all types of birds and he's hanging around with that bird or that bitch is what i'm trying to say with that dog out here and this bird out here but um, also have the four swords out here in reverse. It took your peace away, you know? You felt like he was active, but he was not active, is what I'm getting, because my knight of swords is active. He was pursuing, typically, but not in this situation. He was not pursuing the karmic. The karmic was pursuing him. Let's talk about the karmic in reverse. <laughs> this is good news to have, because whatever the karmic was doing, the advances did not work. That's what my Three of Pentacles is, working. And you could have been noticed your person was at work or the karmic went to their job, but whatever their mission was failed with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. You know, she wanted to hold on to what was hers, past tense. But to be honest with you, I feel like he told her I'm not interested or, you know, whatever pronoun you wanted to, you know, label. 
But with the four pinnacles in reverse, he let go. He said, I'm, I'm done with you. Be gone. <laughs> Let's talk about this whore out here with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Five of swords in reverse. I love this in reverse because that tells me you're mislabeling. The five of swords is all about your enemy. So you're mislabeling your twin flame, calling them all types of whores and bitches because their karma came around the corner. You know, I feel like your person recognizes the karmic for who they are. I'm using my pronouns. <laughs> and they are like, you know what, I'm done. I'm moved on. Let's talk about this fool card out here. This is a new adventure, a new chapter is what I'm hearing. Nine of Wands out here. This person is watching and waiting for the right opportunity is what I'm hearing with the Nine of Wands and the fool card out here. This whole situation is building because that's what the Nine of Wands is building. And I see construction right here somebody's a construction worker i don't know who but somebody out there is because i see a building i never see that with this nine of wands typically i see their consciousness but i see them building a window right here and i see them breaking soil right here i don't know why let's talk about this world card in reverse all is not lost is what i'm getting with this world card like typically this would be bad news with the world card in reverse but you had a bad day <laughs> okay that's all this is hangman universe and it's just you the f out is what i'm getting with the hangman universe but the hangman is all about being an enlightened being within a stressful situation you know i feel like it was all about perspective you mislabeled with the five of swords being in reverse spirit wants me to bring this back out so what you saw you mislabeled it stressed you out but I feel like had you waited or observed more, you would have brought it would have brought you peace. Four of cups out here. This is somebody dissatisfied with what they saw. Page of wands out here. I see you letting it go. I'm seeing bygones be bygones. And I also see lots of heat out here. So you might have gotten hot headed or really angry or dissatisfied. But I see this page of wands wands forgiving and forgetting. Okay. That was yesterday's news. He's saying, bye. I'm happy again because this resonated and he don't want a karma. He wants me. Channel message. Peace, y'all. Like, share, and subscribe. over here having like telepathic communication i'm not even kidding i'm not even kidding i'm having a whole last conversation i know it just freaked somebody out i'm sorry but i'm being truthful all right let's get in what's up sarnies welcome to your reading let's talk about you thank you for subscribing i love you kisses <laughs> Sorry. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit. Let's talk about Pile 3, starting these crew. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? I don't have any channel messages, so let's start us off, please. Oh, somebody's watching you. That's a channel message or a channel song. I always feel like somebody's watching you. Because that's what I see here. This is, I'm channeling this other person just watching you and just, they can't take their eyes off of you. This is them. So I want you to look them in the eyes because they can't take their eyes off of you. My King of Swords is known to be very vigilant and person of authority. So this person could be a th of authority or call the shots. What else you got? It's getting hot and steamy. I see lots of steam in the background and I'm feeling hot. What's going on with the second card? Ten of Pentacles. I don't know if you're in a relationship or not. I have lots of messages, but you're about to be because somebody wants to lock you down and call you family. Um, and they don't want, they want to separate, not with you. They want to separate the outside world. That's what I'm seeing here with this barrier because I read all my cards individually. 
So you got somebody that watches you, that plans long and far with the Ten of Pentacles out here. They want to share finances. They want to move in. They want to have a dog, all that, the whole nine. And they know that they have to cut some people out and people won't be invited in because that's what the King of Swords is, being vigilant and knowing who to, who to cut off and who to accept and being that person of authority. There was another... No, I think I got it. All right, what else we got? Temperance out here in reverse. I feel like you're, I'm talking about a person that gets paranoid because I read uprights, reverse, like how my cards, and I take notice of the first card and the last card. My temperance in reverse is mental instability, and so is my king of swords. He's known to be paranoid. And I feel like you guys are ethereal or an earth angel, and he's drawn to you, and when there's a separation, there's an issue. When there's not a separation, he's happy. I see a smile right here, but I also see these two cups. These two cups are a duo. They're a pair. When you guys are far apart, there's a problem. And I feel like this person might have a mental instability that you guys will help him resolve because the temperance is a healer. Okay? So there's an issue or I don't want to say codependency, but there's an issue with distance and being far apart from him. Okay? He wants to really... You see how he has his hand around her arm? That's how close he wants you. Because he just imagines and watches is what I'm getting with the King of Swords out here starting off your reading. So I feel like this could be a new person. Because that's what I'm trying to say. But they watch you. They can't take their eyes off of you. And when you're not around, they're like, damn, where's my angel? <laughs> Shorty, you're my angel. You're my darling, baby. All right. Sorry, guys. A lot of you guys probably don't even know that song. What else we got? Six of Wands out here in reverse. This is embarrassment of letting you walk past or not approaching because the Six of Wands is public attention and victory. And I feel like they watch you. Some of you guys embarrass yourselves is what I'm trying to say. They watch you embarrass yourself, but I see a smirk or a smile. They thought it was cute. Some of you guys cut yourself is what I'm saying here take resonates and if you didn't suffer embarrassment then you know they're embarrassed within themselves that they haven't been able to manifest you in their life because that's what my six of wands is is embarrassment where they watch you you know look all sexy and fun and they just stay posted and watch that's embarrassment like damn i can't just sit up here and watch what else we got ten of wands out here in re i mean in reverse i like this energy because this is a lot of pressure, and I feel like he knows he needs to relieve the pressure. He can he just can't sit up there and watch. He has to do something. And I see a lot of reversals. And with whenever I have lots of wands and reversals, misguided anger and frustration. And like I said before, he was embarrassed that he hasn't been active and he feels the gravity. Give me one second. I feel like there's a lot of backwards activity because the Six of Wands leaves and so does the Ten of Wands. He carries things and there's a burden. And I feel like he wants you to come back so he can relieve this burden. I'm also picking up on sexual energy too with the Ten of Wands. He wants to drop a load off. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Six of Cups out here. There's something playful about you guys or past life connection because my sixes are all about past life connections or past energy. And I feel like there's something about you guys that he trusts innately. It's something playful about you guys. And he just trusts you. You know? What else you got in English reading? Justice card out here in reverse. But this is him not acting I feel like he discerns too much because my justice card has to discern and my king of swords discerns and watches. And I feel like he's, I'm channeling paralysis. Like he cannot act because he's constantly discerning. He's constantly watching. Okay. And it's not going to be fair unless he acts and does something and says, you know what? I can't just be an admirer in the shadows. I have to talk. I have to speak with this King of Swords. King of Swords also communicate. Well, well, he's upright, so he communicates in this sense. But with that Justice card, it's not going to flip until he acts. And he thinks life is not fair. 
Free spirit, let's talk to them. I hope it resonates for them. This justice card is interesting. I can't wait to get more clarity on that. Closing remarks, please, and thank you. Let's talk about this King of Swords. He likes to watch you. Five of Wands out here. This is conflict. And this is also, I see social distancing, but it's not social distancing. Like, I just heard social distancing. So he don't like people around you. Or if he feels like, you know, there's people around you, he has conflict because he's constantly watching. And this is a crowd right here. Take what resonates, though. Conflict, competition, crowd. He don't like it. Let's talk about the Ten of <laughs> Pentacles out here. He don't like people around you. He want to wrap his arm around you, claim you. And this bearer is like just saying no. Stay away. Keep out. Nine of Pentacles. It makes sense because a lot of you guys are happily single or you just look good as fuck. Excuse my language. But my Nine of Pentacles is a luxurious, well-off. She not worried about another person. He knows it. But he wants you to come past the barrier. Like... This woman is the same person regardless of your sex or regardless of who you are. But this woman is the same person and he wants to lock you down. And he knows, he I feel like he senses or knows that other people are around you that wanna you know, want this prize as well. Let's talk about this temperance. Alright, I gotta say it. Whenever I see this nine of pentacles out here, I see someone's vagina. <laughs> And there's an issue. Like, he don't want you to be messing with nobody else. He don't want nobody... Be, he wants you to claim that pussy as his. There's a problem if somebody else is stretching you out. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> I didn't even want to say it. <laughs> Let's talk about the Temperance Universe. Tower car. He builds sandcastles in the sky is what I'm getting. I see sand instead of water right here and a child right here building a sand castle and this is the castle out here and this is how my readings you know work so please bear with me but I feel like all is not lost he just there is no chaos there is no destruction but there is when you're not around okay there there's I don't know what's going on he thinks of the worst is what I'm getting with the temperance and the tower card a lot of you guys are, have Sagittarius placements because this is Sagittarius energy. Temperance and the Tower. I channel both these energies. So I know this resonates for me. So hopefully it resonates for y'all too. Somebody out there is a Sagittarius, I know. Let's talk about the Six of Wands in reverse. This is an embarrassment. Six of Wands upright. Now I see him putting on a show himself because he looks at you as always putting on a show and you might be intimidating. You know, this is a lot of flashy energy. And both of them are running into one another, is what I'm seeing here, with uprights and reversals. So your day will come. That's a channel message from Amy Winehouse. I don't know if it's really from Amy Winehouse. I don't want to be cocky, but go listen to that song, Our Day Will Come, because I love that song. But I see you guys running into each other, and you guys just smashing into one another. That's another song. Okay. Let's talk about this Ten of Wands in reverse. There's a lot of pressure that he needs to put down. Three of swords out here. It's breaking his heart carrying all this pressure until he announces his heart or his heartbreak or how he feels most importantly because my king of swords is known to be cold hearted. Known to keep his heart well not keep his heart on the sleeve you know so he has to get in touch with his heart space and I'm also hearing that his heart space has been broken before and that's the issue you know Let's talk about the Six of Cups, but this is trust out here. Queen of Wands out here in reverse. Some of y'all beauty is really intimidating, is what I'm getting. Because my Queen of Wands is known to be attractive, but my Six of Cups in reverse is you can't trust. So yes, he trusts you, you have a vibe, but you also are just sexy as fuck. And he's like, damn, I can't have another person watching you. That's my pussy, is what I'm seeing here. And what he's hearing. Let's talk about this Justice card out here in reverse. This is interesting. He has plans, which is why this Justice card is in reverse. 
And those plans never go into the three of wands, never are acted and acted upon, is what I'm getting. So he just goes into this whirlpool of deciding and deliberating, but not really acting on his plans. I knew that would be interesting. So he has to just blurt it out, spit it out. He even when he speaks with you, he might even spit a little bit. Peace guys, love ya. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Peace. What's up, Carter? Let's see. Welcome to your ring. Let me do that again. <laughs> What's up, Carter MC? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get it in. Let's talk about you a little bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. I love ya. <laughs> Great spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Power Four? Is this a general reading? I don't know what we're talking about. I don't have any channel messages. So let's start us off, please. Devil card out here, upright. The first channel message that I heard was addictions. Because that's what the devil card is, upright. Addictions to sex, drugs, alcohol. And I don't know if this is your energy or someone else's. I'm not going to point because I tap in with my second card. So let me go there first. Oh, somebody's head is in the clouds. That's what I see here with the seven of cups. And constantly, I see seven days a week. Somebody's overusing, overdoing it. I see cups out here. I see alcoholism. I mean, this is a lot of options out here. I see lots of substances underneath the sun. I see heroin. I see meth. I see alcohol. I see sex. It's a lot of things. It's a lot of people going through the same thing is what I want you guys to know. Whatever you're going through, Spirit is telling me AA will work for you. Go back to it. I don't know how many steps this is, but there's some steps out here is what I see here. I'm not familiar with it. Please forgive me. You guys need to be forgiven. And it's okay to if you fail. It's okay if you fucking fail. I have to curse sometimes to reach to you guys to let you know no one's perfect. Okay? I like having uprights. I read uprights, reversals, I count my cards, and I take notice of the first card and the last card. There is a way, but you have to recognize there is a way. You have options, but you have to recognize there is options. Seven days a week is a problem. Just constantly that revolving door, that hamster wheel. You use and you need, you need, you need, you need to heal. Recognize why you're a slave to the devil, because the devil loves addictions. He loves to keep you bound in the chains. And I don't want to scare nobody, but that's exactly what darkness is doing it's a war of good and evil out here and i'm not gonna get too weird out here but it is and it's time for you guys to make a choice higher fun out here in verse a lot of you guys dealt with untrustworthy individuals in your coping because my higher font is a trustworthy person a person that looks over people you have people in your life that shouldn't have looked over you because i don't see people underneath them I, typically in any other card or any other deck is what i meant to say you got people underneath the higher font. He didn't need to be watching over you guys. And I feel like that's the reason why you're down this path. And just because you made it so far down this fucking path don't mean you can't turn the fuck around. That's why I'm cursing. <laughs> okay, you done dealt with shady individuals and now it's time for you to undo the, the, the misery, undo the pain. I don't know who this person is. You know better than me. It's time for you to flip this person off and say, fuck you, I'm better than that. But... I see with this higher final in reverse, it's a process out here that you have to undo and unpack. I don't know everything of the situation, but I know it affected you with the higher final in reverse and the devil card upright. Okay? And then now it's time for you to say, you know what, I'm not I don't have to be the same person. I don't have to take those attachments that you caused me, the inflictions. Let's continue on. It's time for it to be their loss. Instead of you suffering and you living on the streets, because my Five of Pentacles is on the streets, I see a lot of you guys having a lot of activity of going back and forth. And you guys need to cut it out and allow this to die. And I'm not, before you do. 
And I'm not, I don't want to scare nobody, but this is also a lot of darkness. And I mean that literally and figuratively because this is a dark deck and this is dark energy. You need to, you know, just say I'm an, it's enough is enough because this is suffering a loss. And Spirit wants me to remind, remind you, when you endure all these endorphins and all these drugs, it's a lot of pleasure. And you're going to suffer. You're going to go through withdrawals. You need to buck the fuck up. You need to be an alligator. You need to have thick skin. You need to accept the, the, the shit. <laughs> Literally. Because that's how you get clean. That's how you... It's, it's a threshold that you have to pass. That you have to, that, that you have to punch the fuck out of. Pass the fuck out, punch the fuck out of that threshold so you can make it on the other side. Because I know you can. You gotta start blaming the 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 person that needs to be blamed instead of yourself. You did nothing wrong. Let the past be the past. Let it go. Develop thick skin. What else you got? Three of Cups out here. Right. A lot of you guys still associate with this fucker because the Three of Cups is reconnecting and in, in uh, reconciliation. You need to stop acting like shit is sweet out here with the Three of Cups out here. And I also see lots of partying and lots of um, substances because that's what Three of Cups is as well. But a lot of you guys are still in contact with your abuser or whoever caused this infliction, whoever led you down this dark path. And that's your first step of getting clean, of cutting off the ties, of saying enough is enough. You got to do that first before you do anything. You can't act like shit is sweet. Oh, I forgot. I'm for, I forgave you. Fuck that. Forgiving has to be earned. What else you got? King of Wands. He abused you. Because that's what the fuck the King of Wands is. He had no right to abuse you. He was in a, a position of authority with the Hierophant and the King of Wands. But he's in reverse. He didn't think about another person. He didn't act responsible. And you out here acting like shit is sweet with your abuser? No. I'm not going to stand for it. You might. I won't. What else you got? That's not going to work for me. It's not going to work for me. And I feel like you guys work on trying to forgive somebody that doesn't deserve the forgiveness. You think spirit... Spirit is going to weigh the scales and cause judgment. And I feel like you guys... Yes, spirit wants you to forgive and forget. But you can't act like shit is sweet at the same time. This person hasn't changed their ways, is what I'm trying to say. And some of you guys work with this person or work for this person. It's time for you to look for a new job. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, can I get closer remarks for this file, please? It all starts with you disconnecting with your abuser and recognizing that shit ain't sweet. Calling, I would recommend you telling him like it is. <laughs> Remember that day? <laughs> Run that shit past him. You know, forgiveness is great, but he ain't earned it yet. You gotta put that mirror to his fucking face. I see a mirror right here. And it's backwards. And you need to flip that bitch to him. Is what I see here. It's one of those fancy Cinderella mirrors. <laughs> what else you got? Let's talk about the devil. Nine uh, pinnacles out here in reverse. I see you guys looking decrepit as a channel message. <laughs> but I see you guys wasting your money on substances is what I'm really getting. Okay? A lot of you guys need to eat because I see this chicken out here. It's not a falcon. It's a chicken for me. And I'm like, damn, I need to eat it. But y'all need to eat. <laughs> Let's talk about this Seven of Cups out here. This is a a lot of things. Two of Cups out here in reverse. It started by you not being treated fairly by someone abusing their position with the Two of Cups in reverse. You know, someone making you feel like you're an option or an object is also what I'm getting. I also have the Five of Cups out here upright. Five of Cups of sorrow and regret. And you living in the past is what I'm trying to say. So it's time for you to look people square in the fucking face and tell them, you know what, I'm still affected. And it's not my fault I'm affected. It's your fucking fault. It's time to put the substances down. And I, I, as soon as you recognize what they're... What they did 
I feel like it's going to be easier for you to walk away from disturbances because it will be a load of pressure out off of you. You don't even know how easy it's going to be. Let's talk about the higher fine reverse. I see. I didn't want to. I didn't. This is going to be a trigger warning. But I'm going to say it because I need you all to rip the bandaid off. This could have been rape. I see it out here with the king of wands out here in reverse and all these individuals in reverse. This could have been rape. And it's time to call his ass the fuck out. But here I am whispering. Fuck that. <laughs> Let's talk about the And that's y'all whispering. Trying to keep it on hush hush. Let's talk about this higher font in reverse. Higher font in reverse. You should have told somebody else of authority. Another person. But damn. It, y'all. With two higher fonts in reverse. It's a lot of lack of trust. Everywhere you turn, it's another individual that you can't trust. So I don't know what the situation is verbatim, but I see you need to hold people accountable, and it's not too late to do so. You got to take them off that fucking pedestal that you put them on. That's what I see here. You out here asking for forgiveness and giving them the forgiveness, they need to be on your feet. That's what I see here. With these reverses out here, you know, they should be asking for forgiveness. And here you are saying, I forgave you. For what? Five of Pentacles out here. This is a loss. Hopefully it's about drugs. Temperance in reverse. Like I said before, it's going to get rougher before it gets easier. You know, you're going to lose your shit before you gain your sanity. Channel message. Uh, temperance in reverse is a mental imbalance. And I feel like in order for you to find sobriety and cleanliness, and that's what I see here, because you either is an option out here. You can reach. You can walk down this path and reach salvation. Hello. You won't suffer no more with the five of pentacles in reverse. But you gotta address some shit. With the higher font in reverse and the temperance in reverse, you have to recognize you were the you are the person they should have been. You know, this person talks a good game, but this angel lives it. Let's talk about this three of cups. A lot of y'all are conversing with this fucker. <laughs> When you should be beating their ass, and I don't recommend violence, I never do. But it's time for you to recognize where you're placing your emotion and why it's displaced. It's causing you a mental imbalance. You should be beating his ass instead of acting all sweet with him. I want you to run that shit past him. You can do it in front of people or you can do it solo dolo. And do it twice. If he wanna if he wanna ignore the shit, do it around other people. Cause a motherfucking riot, cause a scene. I see a gathering out here in both cards. Shit don't have to be sweet no more. Let that shit go. <laughs> and then I feel like everything else is going to be let go. And it's going to be so much easier. Let's talk about the King of Wands in reverse, but it started with this fucker. It's time for you to take defense. And it's been a long time coming. I see him six feet in the air. You know, I read all my nights in individually. I read all my cards individually. It should have been happening a long time ago. No, I feel like when you address some shit, he's going to be embarrassed and have his tail between his legs. I'm like, what, huh? But no, shit is not sweet. <laughs> it ain't working for me. <laughs> Let's talk about this Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords. This is, I'm being deaf, dumb, and blind out here. I'm not, it's not rocking for me. And it shouldn't be rocking for you. It's the end to the fucking hell for me. And I'm not saying you guys ignore things, but that's what the Two of Swords is. Ignoring and being closed off. So now you got to take that blindfold off and start beating some asses out here. Okay? I see people being... I see once the blindfold off and I see pounding out here, I see it's going to be a problem for somebody. And they deserve it. And I don't advocate violence, but it's a special way for you guys to put this burden down, and that's what it's about. Peace. Subscribers, love you.